Hello, my friends. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. This is Whitney with Faith, Trust, and Christ. If you are new here, we like to take you on travel adventures, talk a lot about Disney, and do some reviews. So today on the channel, we are reviewing Garden Girl at Epcot, and this is in the Land Pavilion. This is a character dining experience, and we personally love it, so that kind of goes ahead and gives you a little bit of a glimpse into this review. So this is a character dining meal, so you're going to see Chip and Dale, Pluto and Mickey Mouse in his farmer attire. I do want to make mention just so you know that this is a dining experience the restaurant moves so it rotates super slowly but it does move so if you're prone to motion sickness I might skip it or ask to be seated on the second tier of, it's almost like a step up, the second tier, and it blocks out a lot of the sides. Um, that way you cannot see yourself rotating. Um, that's what I would do if you're prone to motion sickness and you want to eat here. So the atmosphere here at Garden Girl is super relaxed, laid back. You can actually see living with the land as you're on the back side. That's the actual ride down there and it is really cool. When you get to the house, look in. Imagineers actually um, did that to replicate Walt Disney's childhood bedroom. So that is really cool. It's something you cannot see from the ride itself. You can only see if you are eating at Garden Grill. So let's talk about the price for eating at Garden Grill. Breakfast is $30 per child, $47 per adult. And I have to be honest, we've never ate breakfast here, but I have heard some really good reviews from other people and they say it's amazing. Lunch and dinner, which is what we typically do, is $40 for per child and $60 per adult. So the food is actually brought out in cast iron skillets. It's family style so you can pass your plates around or pass the skillets around. It's really neat. If you are a family of four, it can just be right in the middle of you all. But we typically have a large party so we pass our plates around. But don't worry if you run out of food, they will bring you more of whatever you desire. So say you run out of mac and cheese, just ask your waiter or waitress will bring that out for you. So the food is really fresh every time that they bring it out to you. And I will say that some of your food actually comes from the ride Living With The Land. So if you ride that before or after, you can tell your family, hey, some of our food came from Living With The Land. The salad here was really amazing. We really liked it as a family. And I do wanna say it probably wasn't like my number one salad, but it still was really good. So the rolls here, they were fine. They were nothing to write home about. They did seem pre-packaged, so they were good, but they were not like homemade fresh rolls. Um, they did seem pre-packaged, but they were still good. Mashed potatoes and that mac and cheese was so good. It was so amazing and we really like them as a family. I do want to say that the corn hash was really good. It's not something I would gravitate towards typically but it still was really good. Now the green beans you guys I would skip these. For me personally I am a country style green beans kind of girl so these were not my favorite. Um, they were fine, just not my absolute favorite. I think they just needed a little bit more seasoning. The brisket for this trip was okay. I've ha we've been here quite a few times, and I will say that the brisket on the prior trip to Garden Grill was really amazing, but I do wanna say that it was just okay for this trip. Now, the barbecue chicken, that was where it was at with the meat. It was so good, it was tender, it was juicy, and the sauce was really good. Desserts. The shortcake was amazing, absolutely delicious. Now, my kiddos, they got the sugar cookie. All the kids get sugar cookies with like sprinkles on top and it, with a cute little Mickey Mouse. Super cute to take pictures, but my kiddos honestly just took a couple bites and left it on the table. They were not impressed. Um, honestly, if it would have been ice cream or had ice cream with it, they probably would have devoured it, but they just weren't impressed with just the sugar cookie. And I'll throw up some clips. It looked a little hard, um, but I mean, it was fine. They were fine with it. 
I also want to make mention that I have ate here while I had an allergy of gluten as well as eggs and dairy and they were amazing to work with. The food while I was there was probably my favorite. I think I told Davey over and over that I would just love to go back there just because they went above and beyond and they made a special cake for me um, while I was on that allergy diet just so that I had a dessert to eat and a lot of places around Walt Disney World will just give you a cup of Dole Whip or some sorbet just because it's just easier for them they know what's in it and that's perfectly fine I enjoyed that as well at other places but I thought it was pretty special that Garden Grill went above and beyond when I did have those allergies so if you have someone in your party who does have allergies I highly recommend going to Garden Grill personally um, they did just went above and beyond and I can't recommend them enough. Now what sets Garden Grill apart is the character interaction. It is 10 out of 10. Those characters, they're they don't seem rushed like at other dining experiences. They seem just super friendly. They, it just feels like they wanna be there and wanna be there with your family. A lot of times when we've been there, they've been around two and three times just to say hello, get more pictures. It's really neat. We've always loved going to Garden Grill just specifically for the character interaction. So with having different chefs, your food may be a little inconsistent at certain times. Some things may be better than others. Just depends on the chef and that's okay. It's, it happens even at restaurants outside of Disney World as well. I do wanna say that I do recommend Garden Grill for you and your family, especially for that character dining, that character interaction. It's amazing. You get it when you go there, you'll understand. The food this time wasn't my absolute favorite out of the whole trip, but it still was really good. Thank you so much for watching our Garden Grill review. If it has been helpful for you and your family, please like if you are new here and would like to join our community, please subscribe. It's free and we greatly appreciate it. If you know any family members or friends, please send our channel on over to them. It helps us out and it may even help them out. We pray that you have a blessed day and we'll see you real soon.